Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told. Tarot, this is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading. For the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 12th to the 18th of April 2021. I hope you're well. I know these are a day or two late. Um, I just had a ridiculously busy week last week and I don't like doing the readings or rushing them because, you know, you need the message to come through loud and clear. So let's see what we have for you now for the week 12th to the 18th of April 2021. What is the message for Virgo please? Message for Virgo for the week. Thank you angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Virgos. Thank you. Message for Virgo. There's too many there. Message for Virgo. Thank you. So I have uh, number 44, surrender to the flow. Surrender to the flow. Message for Virgo, please. Angels, spirits, guides. What do we have for the week? Thank you. Message for Virgo, thank you. Oh my goodness. We've got miracles. Blessings coming into your life here. Yeah, and you're being asked to believe. Surrender. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards, Virgo, and then we clarify, go deeper into the message. As you know, by now we always do. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, so message for Virgo, please. 12th to the 18th of April, 2021, please. Thank you. Message for Virgo, please. What does Virgo need to hear the most this week, please? What does Virgo need to hear? So Ace of Pentacles in the challenge position. The world. King of Swords. Okay. King of Swords is card of Aquarius. Um, male or female energy. What do we have for Virgo, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Can we, oh, interesting. I was grabbing hold of that other deck. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Virgo, please? 12th to the 18th of April, 2021. What do we have for Virgo? Thank you. Message for Virgo, 12th to the 18th of April, 2021. Virgo, that's just gone out, so let me just put the other one in. Bear with me. Okay. So what do we have for Virgo, please? Angels, spirits, guides, 12th to the 18th of April, 2021. What do we have for Virgo? Thank you. Message for our lovely Virgos, thank you. Definitely feels like endings and beginnings here. So the Nine of Cups, very nice energy with the Ace of Pentacles. So the Two of Wands clarifies the world. King of Swords, we have uh, clarified by the Five of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Let's clarify this Queen of Pentacles, please. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles could be you, Virgo. Germany it's Capricorn for me as a reader, but it can be you in this energy. clarify this Queen of Pentacles please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. Let's clarify this Queen of Pentacles please. Yeah, the Death card. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah, at the bottom of this deck is the Devil, which is also Capricorn. Um, it's not limited to a Capricorn here, Virgo, but it feels in this energy there's an ending. But it's an ending that you're ready for. I'm definitely getting in this, in this energy. The, the Nine of Cups is your hopes, dreams and wishes. Wishes coming true. Hearts, desire, energy, reasons to celebrate, being thankful. I mean, we have celebration energies here, certainly with the World card as well. Um, the Ace of Pentacles is generally moving, relocating. Um, job, career, financial opportunity that marks a new beginning here but it's a challenge position so it doesn't feel like it's appearing here let's clarify this ace of pentacles please So the Four of Pentacles. It, it feels in this situation you may be holding onto something that is stopping you moving forward and finding real happiness and fulfillment. That's why you're being told to surrender to the flow here. Interesting, because, you know, there are greater blessings coming to your life. The universe wants to bring you greater blessings. But there is definitely an energy of there is something that is not serving you right now. And it feels that it's inhibiting you moving forward. And, you know, this is such beautiful energy. You know, the Nine of Cups is being really fulfilled on every level in your own right. You always see a solitary figure with the Nines because it's your own personal achievement, your own personal journey. Um, what it means to you specifically, you know. Uh, this is about manifestation with the Ace of Pentacles. It's time to manifest that new beginning. There is this window of opportunity that the universe is giving you a helping hand towards now. But there is definitely an energy of you're holding on to something from the past. Capricorn, the sun in Capricorn. Um, I'm seeing this as Saturnian energy, the restrictive energy that you need to release and step through now. Because this is Saturn too. Um, there's something that you need to release here, Virgo. And I'll tell you something there is something more beautiful coming your way when you do that is for sure but the challenge is to let it in because this is the barrier to letting this in now this could be new this could be your heart's desire so you know the pentacles energy is our conscious reality it can be a foundational relationship it can be to do with money career finances um your home your property um so take it as you will for you but it feels for some of you there's a barrier. There is something that you're holding on to which is not serving you right now. And you need to release from it, break free from it, step into a new phase from it, bring something, accept a completion here. Because the world energy is a completion and it's, it's the victory in the sense that you can res respect the journey of the past, the past journey that you've just been on. This is a cycle ending, but you're not held hostage to it. This person steps through the barrier. So there's a, there's a feeling of, of breaking free of, of, of the restricting energy, something that has restricted you, um, that has been difficult to release from. Because the two of ones is about unknown energy. You need to make some choices about your future, step into the unknown. You know, there, there's definitely an energy of you, something that has controlled you, has kept you restricted. This is about you taking your world in your hands 
and being ready to step through to this new beginning. Um, it feels like there's a final, there's a major completion here, but it also feels in this situation drawing a line under something and focusing on your future, taking control of something that has really controlled you, that has really had you in its grips. And again, with this King of Swords, with that sword energy, Aquarian liberation energy, and, you know, and mental clarity as well. You know, the, the King of Swords is a wonderful energy of, I mean, you might have been dealing with an Aquarius, you could have been dealing with a Capricorn or a Scorpio, uh, but there's definitely an energy here, Virgo. There is hope around you, potential around you. But this is regretting something that's gone, uh, focusing on the negative, loss, regret, looking back, feeling down, uh, because somebody isn't moving forward. And certainly that King of Swords energy is a break free energy. It's cutting cords energy. It is getting a high perspective on your situation and seeing the big picture. And it's also about focusing on the new vision, the new world energy, the new beginning energy the new path energy ahead, the, he's future facing. Um, and this is about choices about your future right now. The world is in your hands here. Um, you being in your power, feeling empowered, making some choice or decision. And if he was to move on from this, lost regret, looking back, feeling down, uh, focusing on the negative, because certainly in this energy, there are two cups still full. There is uh, hope around you, optimism around you, potential around you. But sending that river running through this card is saying you need to find your flow now, you know, towards looking at the future here and cutting cords when you need to cut cords. Because there's definitely an energy that you're being told to liberate from something or someone. You know, the Queen of Pentacles, like I said, could be you. Um, it's a nurturing energy as well. It's a self-healing energy. She's also very good and abundant in terms of money, career, finances. Can be somebody offering you this Ace of, of Pentacles as well. But it feels in this situation here, Virgo, this is accepting an ending. Because with death, when you accept the ending, there is an energy of that's when your metamorphosis begins. That's when the transformation begins. That's when you will allow yourself to emerge from one part of your life to another and not to be trapped in what's gone. Um, again, Saturnian energy with the devil, feeling powerless, something having, something possessing you. This can be to do with unhealthy boundaries, the need to break free of an attachment here that doesn't serve you. Um, can be to do with unhealthy relationships in whatever context this is, codependency, addiction. Um, so again, for some of you, this could be about taking care of your health if it's to do with addictive things too. Uh, can be in terms of a relationship here as well. Um, card of instability. So again, you know, it, it definitely feels in this energy, you're holding onto something that is not serving you. And there is a need out with the old in with the new. This is about taking care of you with that Queen of Pentacles energy, focusing on what is of value to you, what is going to bring you abundance, understanding how, you know, the Queen of Pentacles is an interesting one because she is Capricorn energy. She understands how to dance with that devil and win, you know, by focus, by focusing on what's of value, by putting her energy in the right direction, by staying on track. You know, and not deviating, not allowing any negativities from the past to deviate from bringing abundance and security and stability and value and nurturing energy into her life. So there's definitely an energy here of, of just allow yourself to focus on what is of value to you now. Small steps, be methodical, be patient, certainly with yourself. But there's definitely an energy here of... There is a need to break free of some attachment that doesn't serve you anymore because there are greater blessings coming into your life that want to come into your life. The Nine of Cups is such a pure energy, but it's what the universe, you know, 
It's also a card of alignment. It's what the universe is trying to align you towards. A wish coming true, your heart's desire, your hopes, dreams and wishes. Being, being really happy on every level. But while you hold on to something, it blocks that happening. Yeah, so very lovely energy. Definitely an energy of surrender. Powerful reading for somebody here. So let's pull the cards and see what we have. The Phoenix, the Phoenix actively, this is the Phoenix rising card. It, the Phoenix actively destroys the old in order to bring the new in, you know. Um, and there's a feeling that one only comes after the other. So this is a beautiful energy of transformation, rebirth, um, metamorphosis, you know, uh, change. But there is some kind of ending that needs to be acknowledged and detached from. Yeah, I love that. We have barrier protection. Consider who you allow to take your energy and who you give it away to freely. Five of Cups energy. Yeah. Where are you placing the energy to the point where it's stopping you moving forward to great potential that's around you? Powerful reading, Virgo. Um, it's interesting. Bottom of the deck, I have trust. Yeah, approach the situation with a light heart. Interestingly enough, this is about trust, surrender, that you're being aligned to something much better. And you know, the Ace of Pentacles is actually a helping hand from the universe as well. Um, a gift that wants to come into you. But it feels like it's blocked right now. Uh, powerful reading, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.